Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a monthly collected haul for the month of November. I'm just going to be talking about all the polishes that I bought or was gifted in the month of November and this month is astonishingly high. Uh, I don't usually have this much coming into my collection in any given month. I think the reason it was so high is because I did buy three advent calendars, um, four, yeah, four collections, four holiday collections, oh my god. And then just like random bits all over the place. I did get, you know, two gifts as well. So we're just gonna go, you know, chronologically, I'm gonna tell you what I got, how I got it, what I think of it, brief review kind of a thing, nothing too in-depth. And yeah, uh, just so you know, the total is, I believe, 101 nail polishes I counted. Oops. Um, but a lot of those are minis, so, you know, make of that what you will. So up first is this yellow nail polish from Nailtopia. I do have a part-time job at Ulta, and we do get gratis from time to time. This one is called Soul Glow, I believe, and it's just a basic cream yellow. My manager, you know, they know that I'm the crazy nail polish lady, and he said, you know, hey, have you tried this brand? You want to extra polish? And I was like, I always want nail polish. So I did get this one. I, you know, I've only got two nail topias, this one and like a purple one. And the one thing I do like about them is their weird, like bottle cap. It, it feels like it's going to be a dropper, but it's not. It's nice for painting your nails. It has like a big long stem. So I do like this. Up next are two holiday collections. Um, I bought, I think it was on the seventh was when this released. I bought the Frosted Metals collection from Simply Neological's brand, Halo Taco. And then 30 minutes later, I got uh, a tweet notification that somebody had tweeted at her saying like, did you restock the 2019 holiday collection? So I bought that too, like 30 minutes later. Oops, bought two holiday collections. Um, but, you know, I had one from this collection already. I really, really wanted the box and I didn't want to spend, you know, the like $100 on Mercari. But we've got, what is it, five for each, I think. Yeah, I took them out already, but, you know, we had the, the five frosted metal type polishes in here and then this one was five rainbow glitters hollow glitters um and they're both really pretty i gonna be honest i like the 2019 collection more i like the box more i like everything about it more but i'm glad i have both of these up next is one that kind of took me by surprise and i'm the one who bought them so what does that say about my life? Um, but I bought five, uh, here's four of them, Smith & Colt polishes. Um, I know I said in my Smith & Colt review, I probably would never buy any more at full price. I would probably only buy them if they were deeply discounted. And in fact, these were. I go on a subreddit called our uh, Reddit Lacarista Swap and people Kind of do like a buy sell trade of any of their nail polishes that they don't want anymore and somebody was selling five of these for i think i paid like 30 bucks with shipping so i bought what do we have here king and thieves which is kind of a royal blue kundalini hustle which is just a really bright red uh dark like me which is kind of a wine color i got stockholm syndrome which is just a like elephant gray. And then I got one of their glitters, Shattered Souls, this gold like scattered glitter topper. Um, the reason the girl was selling them was she said the brushes were damaged and kind of difficult to use. I haven't really found that to be the case. So I got a pretty good discount on these and I really don't have the problems that she had with them. So I guess I can really work with most brushes though. Up next, I got the Orly Metropolis collection. I purchased the year-long subscription to the Orly Color Pass recently. This is the first one I got that just came in the mail. And it's just six polishes. It's their winter or holiday collection. This one was themed off of like a Gatsby-esque vibe. I did a full 
uh, review of this and it's coming up in a video soon. So you'll get to see my thoughts on the Orly Color Pass as well as the Metropolis Collection. Next is uh, the first of three advent calendars. I got the Ciate London Mini Manny Month. This came with, oh, 22 mini nail polishes and one full-size nail polish. And this is my first interaction with Ciate as a brand. I've always been super intrigued by them. I like the weird shape of their bottles. Any, any brand that has like an unusual bottle really sucks me in. Um, I used to see them in Sephora from time to time. I don't go to Sephora anymore because A, we don't go shopping anymore in public and B, I just, am, I'm an Ulta person, I guess. But yeah, this was a fun little advent calendar. I have an unboxing coming up on my channel that you're gonna get to see me go just door by door. And then I'm gonna talk to you about my feelings on that. But overall, you know, I think these are cute. I have to kind of look at their color uh, collection, what they offer. Uh, as far as nail polishes go to see if I'm going to purchase any more. I remember, I think it was a couple years back, they had advertised they were going to do this like true chrome nail polish. Not streaky at all, like that perfect chrome look. And then, I'm pretty sure it was Ciate, and then just nothing. No, Nobody ever heard anything about it again. Um, it was almost like every trace of it was deleted, so I don't know about that. I was really looking forward to that, but I digress. Next is advent calendar number two. Um, I got the Cirque Colors by Lauren Martin. Now this one didn't just have nail polish in it, it had some nail art stuff as well. Uh, and again, I have a review with that coming up on my channel. You'll get to see me unbox it. We're gonna go door by door. But I do really like the style of this calendar. I thought it was really cute, the box. It's really nice, um, just a fun little like collector piece. I probably will get rid of these boxes and then just use this box for something. I, don't, I love boxes. Does anybody else love boxes? My boyfriend gets a turkey every year from his job around Thanksgiving and they come in these boxes that are just really perfect for storing. So I don't even care about the turkey. I'm just excited because he gives me the box. I don't, I don't know, dude, I don't know. Anyways. After that, um, I got an email, I think, from Zoya saying that they were doing like an early Black Friday thing where it was $3 a polish and you could only buy up to six. I say only, but you know, that sounds crazy. But I did end up getting six polishes. I maxed that out. Um, I don't even need any more Zoyas. Like I feel like I've gotten every single Zoya on my wish list yet. I just keep buying them because they're so they have so many crazy good sales they're always doing like a 50 percent off or they're giving you like really really good gifts with your purchase which more on that later anyways let's just talk about the polishes i got i got mel which is this like foresty green uh, i picked this one not only because i like the color but it reminds me of my little sister her name is melissa we call her mel sometimes not anymore really but you know Reminds me of when we were kids. I picked up Nisha, which is this. The next thing I bought was the OPI's Shine Bright Collection Advent Calendar. Um, this is probably, out of the three Advent calendars I got, my least favorite. Um, I have a review coming up, but I gotta say, like, the color dispersion of this wasn't that great. Then again, what could you expect from OPI, who is just known for making reds and reds and reds all the time? I guess I shouldn't be. I mean, the, the box is red. The inside is like red and pink, so I shouldn't be too surprised. But I only had like two, I think, two of the, the polishes that came in this thing, so didn't really double up. I have just a bunch of new OPIs to try. Um, it's a brand that like a lot of people love as far as like mainstream polishes go. So when I have people over someday in the future, far, far away, um, and they want to paint their nails, I'm sure that they will reach for the OPIs. Up next is a polish one of my friends got, uh, gave to me. It's the, I think you pronounce it like Ibrit, A-I-B-R-I-T. It's a soak off gel polish in the color P20. 
It's like a silver glitter. This is the first gel polish, like true gel polish I've ever owned. I do have like the Zoya gel system, but that's more like advertised as almost like a base or like a wear alone clear gel. So this is the first gel I've ever really worn. Um, gel makes me nervous because I, everything I've seen about it, you're supposed to like file or buff your nail and then you put it on and then you have to soak it off. And I feel like that's really damaging to your nail. So I did wear this, but with a peel off base coat underneath and it did come off in like three hours. So I gotta figure that out. But it is really pretty. It's just a fun like disco ball silver glitter and I'm glad to have it in my collection. The next thing I purchased, but it only just showed up in my mailbox today, is this trio of OPI Infinite Shine nail polishes. Um, I needed to round out my order on Ulta to get free shipping, so I threw these in there. They were on sale for $10 for all three of them, so I was like, all right, let's try the Infinite Shine line. I don't know what the difference is. I think they're supposed to last longer, but I don't care about that because I change my nail polish every two days. So I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but this one is feeling optiprismic, feeling optiprismic. It's like a pink kind of shifty color. I think they're all like a shimmer. I'm not really sure. And then we have Prismatic Fanatic. And this one is like the same kind of flip, but purple. And then we have a more Barbie pink style and it's called Rainbows in Your Fuchsia. And it's again, the same kind of finish, but I'm gonna swatch these after this and check them out and you're gonna see them in a second here on the swatch wheels so you'll see what they look like too. Up next, oh my god, um, I got three Starly polishes which I'm really excited about because I've never owned anything from Starly and this was a gift from my boyfriend for our seven year anniversary. This is the second time in our whole time together that he's ever bought me nail polish because he's got like a weird anxiety about buying me nail polish and probably doubling up on anything in my collection or just buying me colors he thinks I'm not gonna like. So he doesn't really do that that often. And um, he knew that I had never owned any magnetic polishes because I've never really talked about them. So he picked me up Starly's Nova Beam, which I'm really, and he bought me the magnet too. Um, I'll show you that kind of overlaid, but. This is such a really fun polish. I tried it on, I'm actually wearing it right now, but there's a bit of a learning curve with the magnet. Um, first of all, I touched it to my nail like six times, oops. And it's also, like you have to hold it over the polish way longer than I thought. So I need a little bit of practice with this, but I'm really excited to you know master this and then maybe get more. Um, the next one he got me was Private Island, which is just this blue cream. He thought it was more of a Tiffany blue uh, from the picture on the website, and he knows I'm obsessed with like the Tiffany blue color, that, that finding that perfect Tiffany blue nail polish. So he bought me this one, and I'm wearing this on my toes right now. And it's really cute, it's really pretty. It's more like a robin's egg kind of a color, but I love that color too. And then lastly, he got me Stargazer, and this is part of the uh, Kelly Marissa collaboration. He picked this one up because he knew that I watched her on YouTube and he saw her name and recognized it and was like, oh, she's probably gonna like that. And he did end up, he got me the Galaxy Gang sticker and like I said, the magnet that goes with the, the magnetic polish. So I'll show those. And they come in, Starly has these really cute, like silver, it's like a silver like foiled box go out and paint the stars it's really cute i like when brands do these like cute little like boxes or just they have like a an extra little touch to their polish and you know i mean i would already pay the price point that these are at but this just makes it like i don't know like a little bit more worth it just because you get these like little extras it just shows they put a little bit more thought into their stuff you know Something else I ordered, um, I don't even remember when, I could probably check my orders right now, but too late. Um, I ordered on the Ulta website, I saw they had this Zoya kit and it's called like the, the Zoya Women's Kit or something like that. And it's like a four piece, full-sized bottle kit, 
where you get four you get four things you get the full size naked base coat which for twelve dollars I, th I think these are like ten so you get this and it's almost paid for itself and then you get the pink perfector which so it has a whole line of perfectors that they do different things for your nails the pink one I believe is supposed to brighten you get the white perfector which is like the tip perfector and then you get the Zoya satin seal and just to lock everything in and basically what this kit does it's like a your nails but better kit it's like a the most subtle French manicure in the world kit you just lay the base down two coats of the pink perfector you use the white perfector over your free edge to kind of like brighten up that white kind of look and then the satin seal kind of it's not quite matte not quite glossy it looks a little bit more natural on the nail and you have like perfect looking nails my nails were looking so gross and so beat up and I you know tried this kit out that day and it looked like nothing had ever happened to them uh, if you want to my Instagram is linked down below you can go check it out I do have that picture up so you can see I spent like 30 minutes putting this stuff on my nails to make it look like I had nothing on my nails they also have a men's kit which I thought was kind of interesting and that one, I think it just doesn't have the, the white perfector. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this whole kit, I think it was like 12 bucks on the Ulta website when I bought it. And I was like, that seems really cheap, especially when you're getting a full size base and top coat, let alone these two like random perfectors. And when I went on the Zoya website, I think it was like 30 bucks. So I don't know if it was a glitch or Ulta was having a weird sale or what, but I got it super cheap. And that leads me to my final purchase of November, I hope, because I'm filming this on the 25th and I better not buy any more nail polish before this month ends or I'm going to freak out. But I was on the, I was on Instagram and I saw Zoya was doing this, uh, what was it? It's like spend $35 and you get the entire holiday collection for free which at ten dollars a bottle at 12 bottles in the kit that's 120 dollars worth of nail polish so i think i own three of them from that kit already or from that collection already but that's still like 90 dollars worth of nail polish that i got for free free even though i spent like 30 bucks 35 i think well I spent 55 to get the free shipping because I'm an idiot. So I ended up not only picking up that collection, um, but I also got, they have a new like super glossy top coat that I wanted to try. They have a matte top coat that I wanted to try. And then I picked up just uh, another perfector. I picked up the lavender perfector because that one's supposed to help with discoloration. And that's really the big issue I have with my nails is that they're constantly stained yellow and I look like I just chronically smoke. So on days that I go without polish, which is super rare, I wanted something that would kind of like balance that color out just so that I don't look so unhealthy. <laughs> it's just a stain. It's not really anything bad, but I get self-conscious that people are looking at my nails, especially because they're a lot longer. So I picked that purple perfector up and I want to see how that's going to go. But... Anyways, that's my over 101 nail polishes that I have added to my collection. Um, my collection's a mess right now. I rarely get stuff and just throw it and deal with it later. Usually I'm the type of person who puts stuff away right when I get it. Everything's taken care of. But this month I had such an influx. Um, I went from being unemployed. I was laid off at my previous job to starting a new job and so I've been really focused on that and just really busy just kind of not doing everything I'm supposed to so I do need to uh, put a lot of this stuff away um, I got to reorganize I everything's out of whack my helmers are getting fuller by the minute and so I need to kind of transfer some stuff from one drawer to the next and all that so I thought it'd be fun to do a little organize with me coming up probably next month and you guys can just see you know the full spectrum of my collection 
and just get a kind of a view of what I have going on there. Plus, it's I really like to organize with me videos. I really like to watch other people organize their collection, see how they do theirs versus how I do mine, and kind of get some ideas or be like, why are you doing it like that? Like, how is that helpful? So you have that to look forward to. And then probably after that, I'll do swatch sticks. But anyways, thank you guys for sitting through my insufferable collection here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.